Hi, I'm Jennifer with Resilient Life Therapy. And today I want to talk with you about something that I see a lot with people who have a narcissist in their life, especially when people are doing a lot of work on how to navigate the dynamics with the narcissist in a better way. And that is that they often have this expectation or this goal that they've set for themselves that at some point I should be able to be completely free of reacting to the narcissist at all. I should be non-reactive to the narcissist, right? Um, and they actually feel like somehow they're a failure or they're not doing it right if they're still having some reactivity to the narcissist, okay? So listen, I always tell people, the goal is not to be ungettable, right? Because number one, that's not possible unless you are literally a sociopath. It is not possible to not have emotional and limbic system response to the narcissist when they are engaging in bad, abusive, egregious behavior, right? Um, it's not only not possible, it's not healthy because when somebody is engaging in bad behavior, you should have a reaction. That, that should create a reaction. When somebody is being abusive or egregious or dangerous, your limbic system should be reacting. Again, the only people whose limbic systems don't react to danger are sociopaths, literally, okay? So you have a working amygdala. You are going to have a reaction. And the reactions are healthy and they are important. Now what we can strive for and what we do try to work towards is helping those reactions to be quieter, that maybe we can have them less often, uh, we can get out of them more quickly, to understand what our reactions are about, what are the dangers that are getting triggered for us, right? To understand the relationship that we have with the narcissist, with the reaction. And also what we can work towards is not being held hostage to our reactions, not just being whipped around by them, right? But to understand them, to understand how to move through them. What is the support I need when I am having reactions? And also, what is my reaction telling me? Because listen, you guys, um, Gavin De Becker wrote a really famous book called The Gift of Fear. If you have not read it, I always recommend it to people. It's wonderful because it talks about fear is a really important thing, right? Fear is our early warning system that something is not safe. So when you're having a reaction to bad, egregious, dangerous behavior, that in part is a guide that helps you really be able to clock like what's happening is not okay. So again, we wanna help your reactions feel more manageable. We wanna make sure that you're not just being whipped around by them, that they're not pulling you into being this person you don't wanna be because then you're just like, ah, right? Um, we want to help you find a way to navigate those better for it to, to for you to have more peace. Um, but there is this idea that we do get to have our reactions. We're human, and and part of the work is letting there be space for our reactions to exist and be there, right? And we can hold those right alongside of everything else. So, the goal is not to be ungettable, right? The goal is not to be non-reactive. When somebody is engaging in bad behavior, you get to have a reaction. You get to say, this isn't okay. So I hope all of this makes sense. Sometimes it can be confusing for people, um, but, but, but at its core, I really want you to understand that because you're still having reactions, doesn't mean you're not making progress. It means you're human. So we wanna work with our reactions, not just have none, right? Okay, I hope this is helpful. If it is, you know what to do. Uh, share it, give it a like, please comment in the comments. I love to hear from you guys. And if you do have a narcissist in your life, as I always say, uh, make sure you check out my guide, Surviving the Narcissist. It has got so much crucial information in it that help will hopefully help you
uh, figure out how to navigate the dynamics with the narcissist better. All right, guys, take care and hey, be human.